Hey, it's Violetta. Welcome to my bathroom. As you can see, I have some blonde highlights with a bit of grown roots. What I'm gonna attempt doing today is something like a shadow root. And for this purpose, I'm gonna use this uh, 7 Ash Blonde from Garnier, which is a bit lighter than my natural hair color, but I decided to try with that one because I can always go darker. So without further ado, I'm gonna start because I am so tired. I'm gonna part my hair in the center. I want everything to be even and symmetrical. I will also brush my hair for easier application. There is a hair conditioner that comes with the, the box dye and I added half of the hair conditioner into the mixture because I want it softer. I'm gonna start applying the hair dye on the roots and I will not be talking but you will see that I will add a bit over here and as I go back I'm gonna go lower. Gonna start from over here because we are going lower here. Okay. And over here, I'm not dragging it down. Just at the top of my head. Now see how this line is going like that. The front should be completely saturated as this is what everyone usually sees the most. I'm gonna paint the back of my head too. Alright, now I'm gonna start adding the highlights. First, I'm gonna paint my roots when I lift my hair in the front. Again, on the top of my head, I'm not going very low. And as I'm going near my ear, I'm gonna bring that darkness lower. And you can let down your hair, see where that darkness comes and decide if you want to bring it lower. Same thing on the other side. Oh! And by the way, I'm sorry if my highlight is blinding you. Please don't sue me. Just a bit more over here. Now I'm gonna start creating the highlights. So let's say I'm gonna take that piece and that all the way down. 
going down like an echo. Go to pink, the roots. And over here I see some yellow, so I'm going to add some more paint. I'm going to continue with another diagonal section. And the more I'm going in the back, I'm bringing also the darkness down.